Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here today. So I am now in my daughter's room going on part three of my declutter series. I'm about to go through her room, go through this massive disaster closet, um, and yeah, get rid of some stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I just quickly wanted to share. I did already start in here a little bit. Um, and then I was like, oh crap, I need to be filming this. So I kind of started going through this stuff. And this is what the room looks like currently. Um, the closet is the worst. This is like half storage, half her closet. So you can see we did like a makeshift closet here using a shelf and then these wooden dowels. But all this stuff has to go. It doesn't, need, it doesn't belong in here, so it needs to go. Um, and then she's got her dollhouse. An insane amount of toys that she really doesn't play with so we're gonna go through those as well so we got lots to do today um let's go ahead and get started we are who we are why don't i be me and you be you we're spreading color around us we're lighting up the sky it's what we do we shouldn't care One of the main things we decided to part with was the desk and originally whenever we bought the desk my daughter absolutely loved it she sat at it all the time to do like her artwork and her schoolwork and stuff but now that her brother is getting a little older and he wants to color too most of the time they end up sitting at the kitchen table or on the floor so instead of it just sitting here collecting tons of clutter I decided to go ahead and part with it and we are going to get them a small table with two chairs instead to go over here in this corner. That way they have a space to do their schoolwork and their arts and crafts. So whenever I'm going through the paperwork, I usually just get rid of anything that is really just scribble and not really a picture. I do save some of the kids' artwork that they give to me, especially the ones where they're super excited. And I usually just put those in like a little binder and I will save those just to have as memories <laughs> that the kids drew me pictures and stuff. So um, I don't want you guys to think that I was just tossing all their artwork. I would never do that. There's some pieces that they are absolutely in love with and I love to save those. But... I'm just cleaning up all the crap that was behind that desk and I'm going to go ahead and push it out of here to kind of just clear some more space. I didn't know why you came to me If your intentions are good Why are you in this hood? But something led me to feel astray There is more in your heart than I saw from the start Baby, I feel like y'all so here's a little bit of progress it's not really progress like I mentioned in my last video sometimes you gotta make a mess to clean a mess but I pulled everything out of the closet except for 
Um, there's a couple containers in there that have uh, Barbie dolls that I need to go through from whenever I was a kid. So I'm going to go ahead and start with what I have out here now because there's really not any space to pull those out. I'm going to start by going through all this stuff here and all this and then um, put go through her clothes, put those back where they belong kind of like reorganize the bookshelf that's in here because that's going to hold like the homeschool stuff like it always does. It just needed to be like reorganized. So yeah, I'm going to get busy. I got lots to do. All right, so the bins that I'm going through now are all sentimental items. There was a lot of stuff from Dylan and I's graduation, and I just combined those two together into this one purple pinkish container. So I did that, and then all the containers I'm about to go through hold birthday cards, pictures, everything. My whole life growing up, my entire life was in these containers. So it was a little emotional going through these and seeing a lot of, you know, stuff bring back memories. But I am happy to let go of a lot of stuff and, you know, just kind of get a fresh start. Before I started decluttering all these sentimental items, I actually watched this video on Netflix. It's a documentary on these two guys who started living a minimalist lifestyle, and they just share their experience and their, their tips and tricks and things that they've learned. And I actually learned a lot from the video. Dylan actually watched it with me. I didn't get through the whole thing. Some of the things were kind of repetitive, but... They just talked about sentimental items and how we tend to hold on to those things because we're the fear of not having those memories anymore. So I took their advice and I got rid of some things, but I just wanted to encourage you guys not to get rid of things just because it's what everybody else is doing. Only part with the things that you're comfortable with parting with. I don't want y'all to ever, you know, go through your whole house and declutter it and then regret it. Take your time, go through piece by piece, and eventually it'll get easier and you'll be able to let go of more. But don't feel like you have to immediately wipe out your whole house just because that's what other people are doing. Um, but I had, you know, I was ready to get rid of some of this stuff. It's been in here for a long time. And there was a lot of stuff accumulated from my life. During the declutter process, we found some balloons, so that is what kept the kids busy so I could get this done. Um, and right here, I'm going through school stuff. My mom saved for me like all my report cards, awards, my artwork that I used to draw, all of that. She saved all of it my whole life. So I did part with all of it, almost all of it, but I wanted to read y'all this letter. <laughs> this is so funny. My dad wrote me a birthday card, and he said... Happy birthday, Carrie, and thank you for not causing me the problems I thought you would. I love you, Dad. <laughs> oh my God, that's too funny. I wanna hold you. Close. 
close but you know my mind is torn up i never thought it'd be like this we're like a broken record because we always mess it up even though we say we never do that so here we go acting like we do we say things that are not true but some oh i'm still here So these things that I'm going through now are all collectible dolls and things that were given to me as a child. I used to have a huge cabinet in my room and I had all my porcelain dolls, all my collectible Barbie dolls displayed. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of the Barbie dolls my mom bought over the years, um, she thought they were going to be collectibles as I got older, but they are actually not worth anything. I mean, they're worth a little bit, but not worth saving for, you know, 28 years. <laughs> um, but I did save a lot of the things that were worth a lot of money. And I just took, you know, and, and kept all the ones that were very collectible or sentimental to me. I kept them in this large container and I will be passing those down to my daughter whenever she's older. said some awful words and I know that we both got hurt but I want to be with you I want to be with you we can't let this slip away you know that I want you to stay cause I want to be with you I want to be with you don't run away we can't let this go to waste I don't want nobody else don't let this go to waste Honestly, I didn't get rid of as much as I thought I was going to, but I am still very proud of the things I did let go. And I do plan on adding a shelf to the top of her closet to store these things. That way they're up off the floor um, and that way there's more space. So I plan on putting a like really tall shelf at the top above where the electrical box is. That way I can get those up and out of the way so her closet will be empty except for her things. But right now, this is the only option we have. My closet and my son's closet aren't big enough to store these things either, and her closet's the only one that's long enough. So now I'm just going through her clothes and keeping all the things that I know she loves, things that I know that um, you know look really nice and that also fit her, and anything that's getting too tight or has a stain on it, I'm going ahead and parting with it. Don't you wanna be with me? Think about your night and day And I just want you here with me I wanna be with you You know it is the truth Don't run away We can let this go to waste I don't want nobody else Don't let this go to waste So I'm just finishing up putting away all the stuff that was on her bed, things that I was, you know, kind of going through and setting them there until I was ready to organize the, the stuff. And now I'm putting all the homeschool items in the closet. Those things will stay in there in the bookshelf. Um, that's where we store all of our homeschool supplies and all that. And in just a moment, I'm going to be going through my daughter's toys. 
Now, I did let her do this with me. I would never go through her stuff and try to eliminate things without her knowledge of it. I don't want to hurt her feelings. She's just at that age where she finds, she's starting to find the sentimental value to things. So I want to make sure that she is aware of the things I'm getting rid of. So I decided to have her come in and help me with this. And she did an amazing job. Anytime I declutter the toys, I always remind the kids like, hey, this is going to make some other child so happy. Things that you no longer play with, someone out there has no toys, and they will be so thankful for this stuff. And both of my kids, I'm very grateful and blessed to say they love to give, and that's so important to me. So um, I love that they are okay with parting with their things to give to another child. So the other night I had this really good idea and I wanted to share it with you guys. So if you have older kids that have a hard time to part, have a hard time parting with things, you could make these little incentive cards. Um, like one of them could say something like, if you get rid of five toys, I will take you for ice cream next Sunday. Or you could say, I will take you to the park for an hour if you get, a, get rid of two things. And, you know, just kind of have those incentives for them. That way they feel like there's value in the items that they are getting rid of. And it will kind of give them experiences as well. Um, you could also like buy their things from them. This might sound silly, but it's also a great teachable moment. Um, at Dollar Tree, they sell these little um, money stickers that you can stick on your things when you're having a yard sale. That way people know how much you want for your items. And you can give the 50 cent to dollar ones, however much you think is necessary for your kids and let them mark things in their room that they're willing to sell. So basically they would set up their room as a yard sale for you to come in and buy those things from them. Even if you are going to donate it, it's just a way for them to earn extra money. I know as a child, I loved to do things that would help me make money. I constantly was like, what can I do to make some money? My mom would say like, unload the dishwasher or go clean the backyard. And I would do those things. So this is also a great way to give your kids an allowance for helping out around the house. I will find a place for us. I will show you where to go. I won't try to change your mind. After vacuuming, I just quickly went around and dusted my daughter's room. I just used these little um, great value disinfecting wipes just to make sure everything was nice and clean. And I'm also going to wipe off her dresser and her Barbie house. And then I'm going to shampoo the carpets. I did get a new shampooer recently. I finally just bought one that's full size. I bought the little green machine, which I absolutely love for spot cleaning, but it's not big enough to do an entire rug. So I went ahead and bought one. It's the Hoover. I'm not sure the exact name of it. I did purchase it with my own money, so I will keep y'all updated and give you a full, honest review. But here is a little quick before of how her rug was. There was a few pretty bad stains, and this is what it looks like. It worked really good. I still have to learn how to use it. It has like a steamer in it. It like heats up the water or something. So once I use it a little bit more, I will let y'all know if I recommend it and then I will link it below. But until then, I don't like to recommend things unless I 100% stand behind them. I'm out of reasons. I'm out of rhyme. But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time. I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep playing Show me your love like it is, like it is all right, so here's some before and afters of how the room looked before and after I got started. I really appreciate y'all watching today's video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know you want to see more videos like these in the future. 
I really appreciate y'all being here today, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.